Hey everybody, welcome back to Orchestra Tube. Um, I'm still on March of the Resistance. This is the violin two part. I'm going to look at measures 71 through 93. Uh, this second violin part is really a workout. I mean, it, it is truly uh, on the same par with any first violin part. It's just nasty. Okay, so I want you to, you know, work slowly, be patient, um, but also be proud of yourself for getting through this uh, because it, man, it, it's really going to be gratifying when we play this all together and we play it well. Um, so the second violin part has um, a really nice little rhythm uh, accent that's at 79, which is really uh, important. Um, it's on the and of two and two measure and then beat two in the measure uh, following that. So uh, we want to think one e and a two e and a one. So we really want to think ta 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 So I would practice saying that rhythm ta 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 until you can really compartmentalize it in your brain. Then try it on an open string and add a little weight for the accent. It doesn't need to be a lot of bow. You want to use the pressure of the stick, do a little bow pinch for that accent. Okay, so we don't want to use any more bow than that. We want to control our sound, our volume output with the pressure of the bow stick, not the speed. Um, remember we talked about three ways to change your sound. So uh, that's contact, where you are on the string, how fast your bow is going, speed, and then pressure, how much weight you're giving to the stick, okay? So uh, I'm gonna play through that. There are some really big string crossings. Again, I would just practice finding each string crossing. For instance, 74, I would really practice. Okay, and I put a fourth finger in there, so it's gonna look like that. I would do it without the fingers first, like I just did the first time. Okay, until you can really, um, plan out where your, your string crossings are going to be. I'm going to play through it slowly. Uh, when it gets to 91, or actually 90, I've changed the bow in there, take out those last two slurs, um, start it down bow, uh, but then it, it gets pretty gnarly, and, I, and I'm sort of on the fence with these slurs here in measure 90. So uh, I'll play at 90, and then 91 is where you can take those slurs out. <laughs> sold on those slurs um, they just make it more complex I think for our purposes if we can really just get the string crossings with the right rhythm uh, we'll, let's start with that okay so here's uh, the whole excerpt 71 to 93 actually those are two up, uh, down up It just makes it unnecessarily complicated. So go ahead and change your part there and maybe take out the slurs at 91 and at 93, okay? And then we'll meet up in class and work on this. Thanks so much. Take care. See you soon.